Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video we're going to discuss Torchlight. Torchlight Energy is an oil and gas exploration and production company with a primary focus on acquisition and development of highly profitable domestic oil fields. The company is headquartered in Plano, Texas and was founded in 2007. It went public in 2010 and trades on the NASDAQ and Deutsche Börse. The stock is up 900% this year, primarily driven by the social media meme craze. Essentially, rising oil prices and the company's ability to capitalize on it made the social media forums target this stock, despite its fundamental weakness. Torchlight is being discussed by the Reddit community as a short squeeze candidate, and it is currently one of the top 10 most discussed stocks on Twitter. On 625, it did a 1 for 2 reverse stock split. Reverse stock splits are generally a sign of a company in distress that is trying to inflate its share price to avoid getting delisted. This stock was well over $1 a share, so it was not at risk of getting delisted. But another benefit of inflating your stock price is that investors feel it's more valuable because most people do not realize market cap is the value of a company, not the stock price. All shareholders on record on 624 will receive one Series A preferred share of stock. Preferred stock is higher in the capital structure than common stock. So in the event of bankruptcy, preferred stockholders are paid before common stockholders. Also, preferred holders receive a fixed dividend payment, but no voting rights. It can appreciate in price, but not nearly as much as common stock does. Also, the company does not get a tax deduction like they do on a bond since preferred stock pays a dividend, not interest. The company is undergoing a complex merger deal and will abandon its energy operations entirely. In December, the company entered into an agreement to combine with Canada-based Metamaterial Inc., a developer of advanced materials. The combined entity will trade on the NASDAQ with Torchlight shareholders holding a 25% stake of the combined entity. Effective 628, Torchlight will change its name to Meta Materials Inc. and its new ticker will be MMAT. Currently, there is a ticker MMATF that trades on the pink sheets. That is Meta Materials US ticker. Its Canadian ticker is MMAT that trades on the CSE. The CSE is the Canadian version of the pink sheets. Just to give you a high level explanation of Meta Material, it invents, designs, develops, and manufactures sustainable, highly functional materials. Its technology platform enables leading global brands to deliver products to their customers in consumer electronics, 5G communications, health and wellness, aerospace, automotive, and clean energy. Let's get started with the Excel file. This is a small cap company, 795 million market cap. They're trading at $5 a share and they have 159 million shares outstanding. This is Torchlight's income statement. The top line is the revenue, the sales. So you can see that goes down every year from 1.3 million down to 100,000. Below that is the cost of revenue. These are the expenses directly related to generating the revenue. Their cost of revenue is higher than their revenue, so they have negative gross profit every year. Plus they have operating expenses, so their operating income is even more negative. And then they have interest on their debt, which was over $1 million in the trailing 12 months. And the bottom line of the income statement is their net income, which of course is negative every year. This is Torchlight's statement of cash flows. The top line is operating cash flow. That's how much cash the company loses from its operational business. You could think of operating cash flow as net income converted to cash because net income is your accounting profit and loss. It's not actual cash. So you can see every year they're leaking cash flow. Plus oil and gas companies have a lot in CapEx each year. They spent over 12 million in CapEx in 2018, four and a half million in the trailing 12 months. Operating cash flow minus CapEx gives you your free cash flow. And free cash flow is the cash flow that's remaining to grow your business, pay a dividend, or to buy back stock. And they have negative free cash flow each year. So that means they have to borrow money to fund their operations. 
They issued six million of capital stock in 2018, three million in 2019, six and a half million, then 30 million. Every time a company issues capital stock, that increases the shares outstanding, making your shares less valuable. They also issue debt, 10 million, four and a half million, 700,000. So they're not a healthy operation, which is probably why they wanted to merge with another company. This is Meta's income statement. The top line is the revenue, the sales, so they had 1.7 million of revenue in the trailing 12 months. And they have negative operating income every year, similar to Torchlight, negative 13 million in the trailing 12 months. They did have a big negative net income in the trailing 12 months of 69 million, but that's mainly due to a loss on the sale of an asset. That's a non-cash item. But I would just focus on operating income when I look at the income statement, not net income. This is the company's statement of cash flows. The top line is operating cash flow. And they're also leaking cash flow each year, negative nine million in a trailing 12 months. So they're mainly using debt to fund their operations. They issued six million, then eight million, then 26 million of debt. Their capex is lower than Torchlight, but of course they have negative free cash flow. That's why they issued so much debt. So another weak company the idea is I guess two weak companies will make a strong company, but that's generally not how it works. This is Torchlight stock price in 2021. It was as low as 21 cents, as high as $11. The reason for the big run up was due to the short squeeze and all the people on Reddit and other social media forums pumping the stock up. But it has come back down a lot, down to $5, but it's still trading a lot higher than it traded before the big pump. And this is Meta's stock price. It was as low as 19 cents up to $18. And this is interesting because it's just gone up. It really hasn't come down like Torchlight. Torchlight stock is pretty volatile. It has a beta of 2.03. So the stock moves two times the market. It's gone up 1200% in the past 52 weeks. And over 184 million shares were traded each day the past 10 days on this stock. That's more shares than they have outstanding. And over 12% of the shares are shorted. It was on the top 10 list of shorted stocks. That's why the Reddit community targeted this stock as a possible short squeeze. Meta went up over 5,000% in the past 52 weeks. And it's a much less liquid stock. Only 1.5 million shares were traded the past 10 days. Only half the shares outstanding are on float. But this stock doesn't appear to be shorted but it has benefited from Torchlight's run-up. Let's look at Torchlight's financial ratios. They have negative net income, so we can't look at the PE. They have a really high price of sales, over 7,000. This implies they're bringing in hardly any revenue relative to their market cap, and their price to book is okay at 14. They have negative ROE since they have negative net income, and they have a lot of current assets on their balance sheet relative to their current liabilities. They have over 13 million of cash on their balance sheet and 54 million of prepaid assets. The best way to look at ratios to compare them to companies in the same industry. I've done videos of 16 companies in the same industry as Torchlight. And if Torchlight has a number in red, they're worse than the average. If they have a number in blue, they're better than the average. So they're worse in all the price multiples. They have a really high current ratio. Almost all the companies in this industry had negative earnings, so they have negative ROE. Torchlight is doing better in debt than the average company, and they're a really small company under 1 billion market cap. To summarize, I rank Torchlight's free cash flows, revenue, and ratios 1 out of 10. So I'm not sure why these two companies are merging. They do totally different things, so I'm not sure where the synergies are. Maybe it's a last ditch effort to try to become a profitable entity. But I would run from the stock, not walk. Although you could make a lot of money if you get in and sell before the big drop. I just really doubt this new entity will lead to much. I could be wrong, I've been wrong before. So let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.